Listen, Mona. Um, I'm really sorry for what I did to you. Okay? Please forgive me. Um, you see, I was the one that told Juan about your being married. Though I didn't tell her directly, um, it was her friend Stella that first stayed out of my mouth. I didn't want to tell her, but it just came right out of my mouth. She just came out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Please forgive me. <laughs> Oh my God, Eric. I wish I can be really mad at you. But rather, I'll say thank you. I'll say big thank you. Yes. Really? Yeah, because if you hadn't told Stella, and Stella didn't tell Joan, we would have moved past this by now. So, um, you and Joan are good? Like Perfectly well. Yes, perfectly well. She has moved on. Yeah. But I don't feel like staying in this country anymore. I feel like relocating my wife out of this country. Why? Because I don't feel safe anymore. Especially with Joanne. Living in the same city with my wife and I. I don't feel safe. Come on, bro. There's no point sounding like that. There is no way she's going to hurt her sister. They are blood. And if she has truly forgiven you, there is no point of you being scared of far living in the same city with you and your wife. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Eric, you don't know me. Really? Highly unpredictable. They rarely forgive. I don't feel safe. Listen, if she has truly forgiven your wife, there is no point she hurting her. That's the truth, so. You just have to relax, okay? Why, am I? And I just talk to her, my wife. Of course, I'm Majitese. <laughs> I spoke to her this morning. She said she's very okay and taking good care of her husband. Thank you. I'm grateful for this. And uh, I want to apologize on behalf of my son. Aww. You know how children of these days behave? Hmm? Now, what I want to do, you know, I equally really want to apologize on behalf of my daughter, Joanita. You know, she not been around for so many years, makes her character neither here nor there. You know, I don't know. I'm so sorry. I still find it hard to believe why a girl of such age will refuse to come see her parents. Let me tell you. I have prayed. I have cried. I have asked God several questions. Why things are this way? When, when will he bring Joanne back to us? I don't know. Why, Yama? I believe she will return soon to you, Papa. I pray my father and I will see their life then. Because the lay is dangerous. Oh, 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 why are you saying such? Are you leaving or are you uh, do you intend to leave? You are not going anywhere. You will be alive, your husband will be alive to see your grandchildren. You will see your grandchildren from two of your daughters. You are not going anywhere, one your man. Thank you. With your soul. Amen. She will come back. Thank you for all your prayers. I appreciate it. Mm. <laughs> Let me bring you something to eat and drink. Oh. The sun is very high. I'll come home. I'll come show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay.
again see wait i think the best thing to do is to discard all the pregnancy strips of this house since you can't stop getting angry anytime you use them i need to get pregnant i need to get pregnant hello we just got married why the rush i need to start making babies for you am i leaving you soon God forbid, you will not leave me. So why the rush? Sweetheart, we just got married. Calm down. Babies will come, okay? And the numbers, babies will come. Please, take it easy, okay? Baby, are you not bothered? About what? I'm asking over what? That I'm barely one month in marriage and my wife hasn't taken in. My beautiful wife hasn't taken in just one month in marriage. Then if it gets to six months, maybe you'll be running on the street already. Six guinea. Ha! Come for me, you wake up when your job. Six months. Ha! Ubim, that one is very far. It's very far and long. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Then just take it to your pill, okay? Everything will fall in place. Maybe I'm not happy at all, eh? Because everything in my body they tantam. My ovaries they tantam. My fallopian tube they tantam. My blood they chi 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 chi. I need to start multiplying. It's okay. Then just relax, okay? Everything will be fine. Take a chill pill. If you don't mind, I'm hungry. Can you get me something to eat? I'll come to the dining. Oh, yummy. Yeah, Joan, don't you think it's about time I take you to the hospital? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, there's no need for that now. It's flu. I'll be fine. You don't worry, too good, too good. Are you sure? But you have been like this since yesterday. Yeah, you know, flu really deals with me. It, it doesn't come all the time, but when it comes, it's massive. <laughs> now, wow. <laughs> Juan. Um, that's it. Joan, see, I am taking you to the hospital right away. Mm -hmm. no, 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 we are going to the hospital. Joan, no, get up. Oh. If anything happens to you right now, people will question me. <laughs> no, let's go to the hospital. Right, stand up. Well, from the medical resort I have here, your thrill is gone already. Three weeks gone. Three weeks what? I, do, I don't understand. Yes, your are three weeks gone. Meaning she's pregnant. What? She is pregnant? Of course. She's three weeks pregnant. I don't understand. I don't know. Who are they fine? Uh, my brother, no vessel. So. You got the house? No, my organ know the house. Hey. Who would that be one? Uh, we are... Uh, we we'll have be Nepa people. Yes, we Nepa people. We confirm whether or not don't pay this month's bill or next month's Nepa bill. Oga, no need to confirm anything. You see that my Oga? I'm a very, very smart man. My Oga no get any business with any Nepa. Nah, Inverter will they use. <laughs> Inverter. Robson. Yes. My guy, mm -hmm. I try to patronize us now for seafood chop. Eh? Yes, so if I know patronize us, how one chop people like us go use eh? No, I like go tell my old guy. Ah. Even if it's in a power bank. No, I mean, say. Say. <laughs> <laughs> guy, man, this guy, this guy, correct, man. Okay, okay. here. Yeah. Moon, I try to patronize us. Take care, uh -huh. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>
I know she'll say these people get any business with Nepa. The other one will wear them for driver cap. You suppose wear her mate, yellow one, carry long wire and plier. How come about the pregnancy? We had sex shortly before he went on that trip. Ah, my God, Juan. So, what are you going to do about it now? Hmm. I wish I know. What are you doing here? Take a good look at this. I don't understand. I am pregnant. Okay. So what are it's the... yours. What? How did it go? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? What was his response? Is he going to take full responsibility about the pregnancy? I don't know. He just left. How can he just leave like that? What does he expect you to do with the pregnancy? Stella, please tell me in your honest opinion. Do you think I should just terminate this pregnancy? Ha! Hmm. My dear, that's a very difficult question to answer. Aborting a pregnancy is a very big risk. I don't have opinion on that. You are the one to decide on what you are going to do with the pregnancy. I don't know what to do, honestly. I don't even know how to go about this. I'm, I'm, I am confused. Oh, God. God. Muna, what's up? I'm here and you're still not saying anything. Listen, I came as soon as I saw your text message. You sounded very urgent. What's going on? Thanks for coming, brother. You're welcome. Trouble still follows me. Her storm is not over yet. I don't understand. How do you mean? What happened? She won't believe which one is pregnant. What? You mean she's pregnant? Shit! Why now? Mona, what are you going to do now? I wish I know. I wish I knew the next step to take. How do I tell this to my wife? How do I face up with the truth? Um, um, listen, okay? As much as I want you to tell this to your wife, but I'll still beg you not to tell her right now. Okay? Let's think of how to deal with Joanne. What's up with Joanne? Has she made that demand yet? Has she told you what she wants? <laughs> what is she saying? Not yet. Really? Yeah. Hey, oh, Bing. Oh, sweetheart. Ah, I've missed you so much. <laughs> I missed you too. What happened? Ah, uh, nothing really. You see, I should have called you. I'm sorry. We we had a late night board meeting. I thought it would end on time, but it didn't. A lot of issues were in discourse. Chai. I'm sorry. It's okay, I missed you. <laughs> I miss you too, baby. You're welcome. What's for dinner? Guess what? Mm -hmm. I made your favorite. Really? 
Yes. Really? Go. Should be I know, I would have listened to my friend. Had I know, had I know, I would have made things right before now. Had I know, had I know, I would have listened to my friend. Baby, yeah. that reminds me. Mm -hmm. I had a dream last night. Guess. <laughs> what did you dream of? Baby, I had a dream where I was pregnant. <laughs> Heavily pregnant. Really? <laughs> yes. Really? I'm telling you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great. Right? Yeah. You were so happy in that dream. You couldn't even contain your joy. You were all over me, <sighs> everywhere. And you know what? You were ready to buy the whole world for me. <laughs> in the dream, right? Yes, in the dream. Uh, that's what I can do in real life too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe mm. I can't wait. I can't wait soon. Right? I can't wait. I mean, um, <laughs> God will make it happen. <sighs> I believe so, God. Uh, I hope and wish you keep having such dreams. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Baby, mm -hmm. why are you so cunny? Yes. If I tell you about baby, you will say you're not interested. Here you are saying that you wish I should be having more of this dream, meaning you can't wait for us to have this baby. It's time. <laughs> It's time, right? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to give you beautiful children. <laughs> Baby, you know what? Tonight is going to be our night. So make sure not to stress yourself at work. Did you hear me? Because tonight is going to be our night <laughs> enjoy your meal baby <laughs> <laughs> in any conference meeting, please. But sir, the MD said... I said I am not interested! Okay, sir. Get out of my sight! See what I've brought up on myself. Ah! Oh. See what I've caused for myself. Muna, you're lucky. You're very lucky the MD of your company is my in-law. If not, you would have gotten a query for what you did today. Come on, man, what is wrong with you? Huh? Listen, your job is very important to you. That's that I know. You need to guide it jealously. Whatever you're going through, your job comes first. That you must understand. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You need to buckle up and stop saying you're sorry. Do the right thing. Okay? <sighs> what is the problem? Is it Juan? Yes. Really? I am bothered about Juan. I'm even more bothered with the fact that I am keeping another secret away from my wife. After promising her that I will never keep a secret away from her. It bothers me, brother. I understand how you feel, Mona, I do. But you see, you have to tell your wife. But not now. Yes, you don't have to tell her now, but definitely you will tell her. We need to um, 
handle this Joanne issue first before she takes the news to your wife. Uh, I'm sorry I had to call you out from work. I'm sorry about that, but we need to discuss this pregnancy thing urgently. Okay. So where do we go? Your place or mine? Uh, it doesn't matter where. We can talk here anyway. Ugh. Yes. Uh, Joanne. You, 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 can, you can have a child for me. Uh, listen, listen. Um, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, I'm sorry. Very sorry for everything that happened. In fact, what has happened has happened. We can change it. Okay? But you can't have a child for me, please. The point I'm trying to make is it's not right. I, I, I am responsible for it, yes. I'm not arguing the fact. I'm ready to take responsibility. But it's out of place for you to have a child for me. You know what? This evening, I'll transfer some money to you so you can get rid of the baby. Is this a joke? No, I want to get it. Is this a joke? Uh, hey. oh, uh, I should get rid of my baby? Yes. We don't need it. Do we? I don't need it. And you don't need it either. Do you actually understand what you're saying to me? I, 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 I need to know. Do you understand what you just said to me? I should get rid of my baby? That is not possible. Not possible at all. Joan, why can't you listen to me? You can't possibly have a child for a married man like me. It is not right. Think about it. You have to terminate this pregnancy. Okay. Since you insist, I will think about it. But that does not mean that my stance will change, okay? I will never, ever be comfortable with what you just suggested. But I will think about it, like you said. I am not getting rid of the pregnancy. Never. Good. I will not do it. Good. That's very good. Huh. I support you on this. Imagine him telling me that he's willing to pay anything for me to get rid of the pregnancy in Anokwa. Really? Ha! <laughs> My dear, just tell him no. That's murder. And I can't support that. That is exactly what I told him. Never. Very nice. Go knock, go knock again. Go knock. I have been knocking in that gate now. This is the third time I'm going there to knock. Just go and knock. You are you scared of the this man? Go and knock. Okay, it's true. Okay, you people like again. I don't tell you, I say we know they use Nepa for this area. We know they use Nepa. No, no, they hear them. Ah, uh, chairman, calm down. Eh? We are not here for your Nepa bill. We came to deliver this envelope to your madam. Okay. It's extremely essential and shouldn't be neglected. Please help us deliver this envelope to your madam. Okay, now my madam, you speak this English. Give. How you take one? Young man, just tell your madam it's a gift from a friend. Take it, it's a gift. Give your madam. Just tell him to me. Okay. Are you aware that my madam is a married woman? She know they are into all this, all this thing where people they do for this city. She know they are into, into all this gift, 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 you know. My mother know they cheat, oh. Now married woman she be, oh. Okay. Please. Can you just stop talking and deliver this envelope to your madam? Like I said earlier, it's very important. Please. Please. Edu, let's go. Yeah, please. Young man, please. Please. Okay. Deliver this envelope. Okay. I'm not going to deliver her. My madam is a married woman. If I go deliver this, this envelope to my madam, you will come be seeing my madam the cheater. Uh, oh my God, with two men. Two semi nepa We're going to be nepa today. We're going to be delivery man tomorrow. You say now who gave you this envelope? Madam, not two men, no. The two men came here. They, they can't carry this thing, give me. I can't tell them, say, I'm the gate man, I know the delivery man. They say, make a carrier, make a deliverer to you. From where did two men come from? Who they be? I don't know. 
I think I even think say you go you go know them. Me. Me, where be Johnny just come? I be Johnny just come now. I don't know anybody for this place. Madam, no fear. No fear anything. Eh? If you open this thing, you can't be seen and waiting you don't like at all, at all. No bother yourself. I suppose even use them, they do hand fan. Okay. Eh? But if you don't like them, just say Holy Ghost Fire three times. Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost Fire. Destroy them. Any problem, you call me, yeah? Mm. You throw them. Take. Any problem, call me, yeah? Okay. Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost Fire, Holy Ghost Fire. Do you think she have seen it by now? I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. What if the gate man didn't give it to her or maybe he disposed it after we left? Come on, come on, Amber, friend. Let's be positive. Yeah, just be positive. How are we going to know that she has shown it to her husband? Abba, Fred, calm down now. You're being too apprehensive. Calm down, just calm your nerves down. Calm down. See, my guy, I need to know so that I can know when to start planning on a move again on Joanne. Yes, <laughs> guy. Anyway, I believe that if she has shown it to him by now, in fact, Katakata, the pandemonium in that family now, <laughs> cannot even overemphasize, I swear. You think so? I wish. I never knew it will turn out like this. Who can show me a way out? Had I known, had I known, I would have listened to my friend. Had I known, had I known, I would have made things right before now. Had I known, had I known, I would have listened to my friend. I have come to tell you face to face. In fact, I have come to look you in the eyes while I tell you that I am not going to get rid of the pregnancy. Okay, okay, fine. You're not going to get rid of it, right? Yes, and that is final. Good. Okay, fine. Let's do it this way. You'll give birth to the baby while I make the finance available to take care of both of you. As what? As my husband? Oh, that is impossible. So why is it impossible? I'd like to know, why is it not possible? You want me to keep the child, but you don't want to marry me. No. It was your decision to keep the baby. Yes! I will keep the baby and you will marry me. Oh. Wait for me now. Juju. Asam what? Asam Pete. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. What do you want? What else do I want? It's you that I want. Hmm? Baby, you know how much I love you. Why are you doing this to me? Hmm? Thank you very much for loving me. But I don't love you. Ah, don't love me. But you know I love you so much. Hmm? I'll do anything to make you happy. Please, my love, accept me. Accept my proposal. Please. Hmm? I repeat, I do not love you. You do not love me, hmm? Is it because of me? Because of who? You think I will not know, eh? The married man you are chasing after. How dare you? How dare you? Come, have you been following me? Have you been stalking me? Calm down. 
Calm down. Stay away from me. I have warned you before. Stay away from me and be very careful. You don't know what you're playing with. Be very careful. John, why are you being so mean? Why are you being so mean to me? Eh? John! <laughs> I know it's because of that man you're doing this thing to me. You'll come by, don't worry. Wait, you told him to marry you? Yes. I what? Mm -hmm. Juan, when did we discuss this? I mean, how can you tell him to marry you? I told him that I'll give birth to the child. Which was what you wanted, right? Yes. Good. But that doesn't mean that you should tell him to marry you. I don't understand. Oh, so you want me to let him go, right? Then I'll now give birth and raise a bastard all on my own. Are you okay? <laughs> Juan. You are the one that made the decision to raise this child. Yes. You should not bring marriage into this. Uh, you know what? Please. I am not in the mood for this discussion. In Anuya, eh? When you get pregnant on your own, if you like, go and tell the goats not to marry you. Enugia, me, I have made my decision. I am not going to raise any baby on my own. I must have a father for my child and I will live with the father of my child. In fact, I will marry the <laughs> father of my child. And that is it. It's okay. If it's what you want, I wish you all the best. Mm. Okay? Sweetheart. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. You lied to me. And that is why I am saying, I'm sorry, please. What does she want? Nothing. Talk to me. What exactly does she want? Nothing. She's pregnant. What? Man, you do. That you no walk. Oh. You no walk. Are you serious? Guy, she rejected me again. This girl rejects me again. <laughs> okay, you know what? Just calm down. There's no need. It's too early to conclude, anyways. At the time you say she rejected me again, you tell me say it's too early. Oh, I don't understand what you're saying. You calm down now. You always blah 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 blah. Calm down. See Mark down. Ah, ah. It's too early. Besides, it's too early to conclude. Just chill. Chill. My brother, chill. Calm yourself down. You always, you know. Calm, calm, calm. Hey, I'm out. You are still tensed. Tell me. Tell me what you said last night was a lie. Is it truth? You got my sister pregnant! How could you? How could you? I don't know how it's happened. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. You're lying to me. So you've been sleeping with my sister after we got married. No. How could I? 
You're lying to me. I was sleeping with her. You're lying to me, right? You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. You're lying. No, listen to me, sweetheart. Listen to me. I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're lying and this is exactly what I'm talking about. How, how? Where did you get this? You think you can lie your way out and get away with it, right? Honey, how could you? You hurt me with those words of yours. How, how could you? My heart is broken. Because you know it's the truth. You know it's the truth. It's not the truth. Sweetheart, remember, I promised you that I was going to tell you the truth any time, any day. That was why I told you about the pregnancy. I never knew about this until recently. This picture made you a liar. This picture made you a liar because you've been lying to me. How could you lie to me? How could you lie to me? You betrayed my trust. You disgust me. I am disgusted. I am disgusted. Just leave me. Please forgive me. Silas, why didn't you tell me some people were here earlier and ask you to deliver this picture to me? Picture? Oh. Okay, I know, understand. You don't understand? Yes, sir. How would you? Do you ever understand anything? You know what I'm talking about. Stop pretending. How could you? How could you be so stupid to have forgotten to deliver this picture to me? Instead, you gave it to my wife. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, no be picture. You mean the envelope? No envelope, nah. No be picture. What envelope are you talking about? Okay. Now nah, two men, oh, they came here. Come carry the envelope, give me. I say, ah, ah. They won't convert my job from gate man to delivery man. They come tell me, say, make I deliver them to madam. I say, as good boy, why be? I go be. As far as this house is concerned, I can't carry, I can't deliver to Madame. Madame receive him well, well. If he even increase my salary for being a good boy. See how stupid you are. You are so clueless. You don't have sense. Eh? Strangers came to my house, gave you an envelope to deliver, and you didn't bother to check it. What if it was a time bulb that was kept in the envelope? Hey. So that was how my wife would just die. Time bulb wicked delegiwa. Jesus, okay, sorry, let me fuck up. Okay, let me fuck up. Incompetent fool. Come on, get the gate. Sorry, sir. Now, my name. Don't be stupid. So, this boy's get my carry. Time for you. Shut up. Had I known, had I known, I would have listened to my friend. So this is it. This is it, eh? Joan, I'm asking you. I never knew. I never knew you could stoop so low as to take pictures of us when we're together and show it to my wife. What is your intent? I don't know anything about this. You don't know anything about this? No! Okay, good. My security man said it was given to him by two men. Two men? Yes, two men. The men you sent. Do not pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know the people I'm talking about. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Firstly, I do not know anything about this picture or whoever took it. Secondly, I am trying to understand how this suddenly became my business. Joan, stop this nonsense, okay? Stop pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what? We could have sorted this together by ourselves instead of you involving my wife. You know I have not spoken to my sister about this, right? You know. So who are the people involved in this? Who are the two men always taking pictures of us whenever we are together? What is happening here? You tell me! No, you tell me! It's either you tell me or you stop disturbing me. And if this is a ploy for you to distract me, it is not working because my demand still stands. You must make me your wife. Uh, 
Eric, at this point of my life, I don't know what to say or do anymore. I'm tired. That's insane and insensitive thing to say. How can she demand that you marry her? Is she stupid? It's obvious to me. Now it's very clear that she has very bad intentions towards me. What have you said? Are you giving in to her demand? As in, I just ask him because... As in, let's marry to her. Oh my dead body. Oh, thank God. Because she has proven herself to be a very bad person and she's the least person I want to see you with. So tell me, what have you decided to do about it? What are your plans? I don't know. What bothers me right now is my wife. She knows about it. What? She knows what? Muna, I thought we agreed for you not to tell her yet. I made a vow never to keep any secrets away from her. I had to tell. I didn't know how I did it, but I, I told her. Okay, fine. Now that she's aware of it, how did she take it? What are you going to do about it? How do you intend to handle that? I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> well, seriously, girl, yeah. well, you shouldn't have told your wife about it. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have done this? I don't know. They didn't tire me. I don't know. He just came here with this and I'm shocked. I mean, <laughs> this is shocking. It's very obvious that someone is either monitoring him or me. Yes. Or he is just a harmless talker who just wants to destroy your relationship with him. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Someone is obviously not happy with my relationship with Mona. <laughs> Joan, I think I know who this person is. Yes. We go who? Um, I never knew you are this low and petty. How could you? I don't understand. What are you saying? Oh, please. Spare me the pretense. You took the picture, isn't it? What picture? The picture you gave to Mona's wife just to cause trouble between him and his wife. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, please. Stop lying. You don't know what I am talking about. <laughs> you know what? Your plans have failed. Juan can never be yours. Have it. Well, I love her so much. You love her? You just have to start loving someone else. Because right now, she's pregnant. What? What did you just say? Yes. You heard me right. She is pregnant. Joanne pregnant? No. No. Oh no, get the custom. Why did they do pick two? Why did they do pick two? But they said general market. I like Madame. Let's go. Let's do go do juju for Oga. Hey, my friend. How you doing now? Let's go. Now you, now you, now you. Nobody you come here the other day with one boy like that. Now me. We go, I, now me I come today. I want to check whether you don't give that envelope to madame. Hey. Uh -huh. Nepa man. Upcoming Nepa man. Semi Nepa man. You can't check whether I don't give the envelope. The photo. Uh -huh. The photo where they in there. Uh, I, I you open the... You're supposed to be for... I don't go open. Back up, back up, back up. All the security agencies in this area. Back up. Hey, I don't get you where. I don't get you where. Catch up, catch up.
Juan, what exactly are you doing here? You vowed to wreck my home? I am not here to banter words with you. I only came here to pass an information. I am pregnant. Mm -hmm. So, I should start clapping. No, I should call a meeting. I should call everybody and tell them that Joanne is pregnant to, the, to deliver the next Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. Joanne, you vowed to wreck my marriage. You made a promise to me that whatsoever you have with my husband was over. Little did I know that you were just deceiving me. You were deceiving me. You went at my back to be sleeping with my husband. My husband. You're nothing but a deceiver and you're a wicked fool. <laughs> I will appreciate it if you do not insult me. But you've already insulted yourself. Yes, you've already insulted yourself in front of me. You didn't ask yourself how it will sound when people hear that Joanne is dragging a man with her younger sister. Oh, Joanne. Joanne, you made yourself nothing but a rag before me. And if I will ask you, what exactly is so special about Mona that you can leave my husband for me? Leave my husband now. At least we both agree on one thing. There is nothing special about your husband. Nothing special. Mona is a goat. He is a deceiver. He is a fool. And he doesn't have sense. Listen, if not that I suddenly found out I was pregnant for him, <laughs> I would have happily, happily left him for you. Yes so you can continue with my leftovers. But, here we are. It would have been good riddance to bad rubbish for me. But, I am pregnant. That child doesn't belong to my husband, and you know it. Oh. I know in your devilish and wicked heart, you wish that I sleep around, right? No. <laughs> I am better than that. I never slept with anyone else while I was with Muna. And I have not been with anybody since I broke up with him. So you see, the child is his. <laughs> Joan, stay away from me and my house. Stay away from me and my family, Joan. I am warning you, stay away from us. Get out. You better get rid of that thing inside there because you know it doesn't belong to my husband. Unfortunately for you, that will never happen. You see this child in my womb, I will never, ever get rid of it. So you see, your husband has just one choice. Marry me. That will never happen. There is nothing you can do about it. It will never happen. My husband will never marry you. Did you hear me? Get out of my house! Mm. Listen and listen good. I came here to talk with you. And that is the reason my voice is low. That is why I am talking to you in a calm manner. Because I want you to see reasons with me for the interest of peace. Don't play with me. Otherwise. Otherwise what? There is nothing you would do, Joanne. You can do more than a dead rat. Get out of my house. Leave! Anyway, tell your husband. No. Our husband that I was here. Get out! <sighs> oh. 
Listen, Joan. I am going to say this for the last time and as your friend. You can keep this baby and I, Stella, will support you all the way. Please, I don't want you to put asunder into your sister's marriage because of this pregnancy. Have you ever had an unwanted pregnancy before? That is not what we are talking about. If you have, you will understand what I am talking about. Do you think... No, do you seriously think that I'm happy in reading my sister's marriage? No, do you seriously think that, that I'm that callous? No, I am not. But my child needs to have a father. But your child can still have a father, even without marrying him. And what does that make me? A single mother? God forbid, I will never be a single mother. Never! If I am keeping this pregnancy, then I must marry the man responsible for it. Hmm. Juan, I wish I can just tell you to abort this baby. <laughs> but you know it is wrong, so you cannot tell me to do it. So you see? Hmm? Mm -hmm. If you see my back, the level of injury, that bastard, that's a, what's the name of that, 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 that gate man? That guy is a carnivorous animal with his teeth like Landry's pig. That guy, the kind of pain I'm having on my back now, 10 over 10 pain, excruciating pain, that guy beat the hell out of me with his teeth. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry. I, I, this is no matter of being sorry. If you had told me that you, you've met with her friend or whatever, I wouldn't have gone there now. Edu, you already went there before I met with her friend. I'm sorry about what happened, okay? Anyways, what did you even say her friend said to you? She knows about the picture. And I think Joanne knows as well. Listen, we lost Joanne. She's pregnant. What? 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 Pray what? I don't understand. By who? Maybe with the same mind you saw her with. Listen, we lost her. We lost Joanne. This is sad. This is really sad. But I, I, I'm sorry to say this. I'm not trying to make you feel somewhere, but I anticipated this. I knew this was going to happen. After the whole stress, the whole effort, now see. So now what would you do? Or what do you plan to do? <sighs> you do. I guess I'll just move on with my life. It's quite unfortunate I have lost Joanne. The thought of me losing her saddens my heart every day. See, it's okay. You find the right one. You find the right one. It's okay. Mona, why are you disturbing yourself unnecessarily? Take it easy. Listen, man. There is more to this life than faking reality. Okay? Don't push yourself towards depression. You don't need it. Just drive home. Have your bait and take your rest. You need all the rest you can get. I told you I don't want to go home. I'm not going home, bro. I really can't go home. I can't face my wife. Please, do me this favor. You have to arrange for accommodation in one of these hotels for me to spend the night, please. It's not necessary, bro. Come on. You don't need it. Joanne is a joker. You can never marry her and she knows it. Respective of her pregnancy or whatsoever she's using against you. But the truth is, you can never ever marry her. Now, why this dream? That will never happen. You will marry her. But you know what? You need to go home. Your wife is already mad at you. And the least she will want right now is your absence from home. Doesn't make sense, bro. Go back to your wife. She needs you. She's using the pregnancy. She's using it to tie me down. How do I explain to my wife? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Muna, don't worry about your wife. Eh? Just go home to her and explain things to her if necessary. But as for Juan, go handle Juan's pregnancy later. Please forgive me. It's not what you think Please my love 
I can't explain. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Why is this happening to us? Why? <laughs> Sweetheart, believe me when I say everything is going to be alright. I am not bothered at all. I'm not bothered over what we're passing through right now. What is happening to us? Listen, all I know and all that it is is a fact that you are my first one and only wife. Okay? How about my sister? What will happen to her? So I told you before, I don't know how it happened. About the pregnancy, I don't know who's responsible for it. I can't even deny it. Oh. You can't deny it if it's the truth. You can't. <sighs> Baby. Baby. This is a battle. You have to join me and fight this battle. God has joined the both of us together. And what God has joined together, no man should put asunder. Your sister is trying to put asunder. Don't you get it? We have to fight this battle together. I think this is where I draw the line to our friendship. Look at this one. Whose friend are you? Do you know what friendship is? What friend, Deputa? Look at you. Let me tell you something. You are not my friend. You were never my friend. A true friend is that friend that stands by her friend as she navigates through the storm of life. And you are not that friend at all. A true friend is a friend that stands by the truth. And whatever thing that comes against the friendship. Joan, you are putting an asunder into what God has joined together. And you want me to support you? No, that's not friendship. That's evil. Uh, 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 Jerome, who asks for your support? No, I want to know. Did I tell you I need your support? Have I ever asked for your support? Please, go and sit down with your support. In fact, you see that your support, eh? Take it like this. Roll it, roll it. Then shove it up your dirty ass. Yes, that is what I said. At least, now I know where I stand in your life. But guess what? This stupid thing we call friendship is over. It's fine. Joan, I warn you for the last time. It will do you no good destroying another woman's happiness over a little sacrifice you could have made for the interests of peace. My friend, go and sit down. Go and sit down with your cheap perfume. Before I choke here. Juan, look at who is talking. Are you the one saying this Please, to me? Please, get out. I know you're angry <laughs> and you're so mad because I am going to my husband's house. It's not my fault. You can stay here and deal with your menopause in a few years time. Juan. And trust me, you'll do it alone. <laughs> Shift! Juan. All this luggage. Imaju, why are you asking me? I'm asking you. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you that I will come and stay with the father of my unborn child? I got on me. Oh, Juwan. Juwan, I have given you enough respect. <laughs> Did you hear me? I have given you enough respect. And today, that respect dies. 
Now, take this thing out of this place, back to whoever that gave you this bastard in your tummy. You see, that's your useless respect. Hmm? Shh, that's, roll it. Modesa Oibo, roll it like that, and then shove it up your ass. I don't need it. Respect to go nene Respect to go nene go. I told you that I am coming to stay with the father of my unborn child, and hmm. that is why I am here. I now will not out. allow you impose this your bastard on my husband. That will not happen. You will not enter this house. Did you hear me? One <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> you ah. think it's about barking like a dog up here? Please get out. Um, so what is happening here? What is happening? Did you just touch me? No, 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 no. Did you just touch I'm me? I'm talking to you. What is happening? Listen. It's like you have forgotten how I used to beat you when mm. we were kids. Mm -hmm. Why again? Let your hand touch me again. I will beat you blue and black. It's like you're crazy. Yo. It is not about shouting like a mad dog. In Anuya, I am here to stay with the father of my unborn child. Yes, so. Are you hearing me? I am here to stay with the father of my unborn child. And please, caution your mad dog. Caution her because if she tries what she did now again, eh? Both of you will get it hot with me. Hey, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue. By the way, what are you doing here? Ask her. <laughs> I'm asking you, what are you doing Ask here? Ask her. Are you seriously asking me that? Yes, of course, he's asking you. Baby, no. Tell her to carry this as stupid luggage. And this is your bastard of a child. Because he's not my husband that is responsible for this bastard. Did you hear me? You see, I look at you and I see the wickedness embedded in you. You, you are calling my child a bastard. Imagine, where is your own? Hey, hey, listen up. I am not going anywhere. You have to leave. I am here to stay. You no have... leave, no transfer. You have to leave. I said, I am not going anywhere. I and my child, we are here to stay with my child's father. And if there's anybody that should leave this compound, it is this barren goat. You will not go anywhere. It is this barren goat. I will not have you not even conceived for you, OK? And let me sound a note of warning. You know this used to be my house, right? Oh, we created a lot of good memories here. So I know this house like the back of my hands. I don't need anybody to see me into the house. I don't need anybody to show me around the house. I know my way. So I know where the guest room is. Now I am not here to listen to the ranting of you too. All right, I am here to rest chill and enjoy my life. So I am going straight into the guest room to chill out. But you see that master bedroom? You see that bedroom? <laughs> enjoy it while you can, no? <laughs> Have fun while you can, no? Because very soon, I will be coming back to possess my possession. Joanna, you have to leave. Now get out of my side. Joanna, leave my house! I said, oh, leave this God. place. I am warning you. Leave this place out of my sight! Hey, 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 are you seeing her? Are you seeing her? Oh, Leave me! Come let's tell let's me to hold on! Handle it, okay? Don't tell handle me this. that! Just let me handle this. Let it be for now. Okay? This is what you're doing to me! Say it out! Uh, uh, what? Joan! Joan! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you let her in? Are you planning to marry her now? God forbid. Then why did you let her in? Was that our agreement? <sighs> Baby, just calm down and listen to me. She's pregnant. And the last thing I would want to happen is to have the blood of a pregnant woman and an unborn child in our hands. We can sell our hands. Okay? I promise you this. She would never be welcomed in this house. Then why keep her? That's a point I'm trying to make. I mean, if we forcefully send her out, Something bad might happen. We might end up committing murder. The murder I am talking about. So I beg of you. Let us use wisdom. Okay? I got this. 
please let me handle this amicably. Just know I am not in support of her staying here with us. I am not and I will never be in support of her. It's okay. I just asked you a question. What exactly are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice you. Good morning, baby. I just want to ask you a simple question. How do you do it? I need to know. How do you manage to sleep on the same bed with this uncouth animal? Do you want to stop that? Meaning what? You can't have breakfast with my wife and I on the same table. <laughs> as who, if I may ask, as the first lady and the president, I want to understand. Who are you that I cannot have breakfast on the same table with you? You heard my husband. You can't have breakfast with us. So leave. Go somewhere else and have your breakfast. Do you want to stop this? I have a little story to tell. Once upon a time, there was this very mad couple. Very mad. No sense at all. <laughs> Shikini sense like this, they don't have. Though they pretend sometimes that they have sense, you know? Especially the woman. My God. The woman is senseless. The woman is actually sleeping with her sister's man. And raising shoulders on top of it. Does it make sense? <laughs> it doesn't. That is a classical example of a big, giant fool. So you're trying to refer to my husband and I as mad people, right? That is what you are. Yeah, I am. Joanna, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? I will slap the hell out of you. If you provoke me, if you provoke me, I will slap the hell out of you. What has come over What is wrong with you? You want? Are you mad? You want? No, I'm asking you. You want? Are you mad? You want? Take it easy. But when they come, I can't just come in the village. Okay. Hold this dog. What's wrong with you? You want this dog? You should hold yourself. You see both of you. I can move. If you try me, if you try me, if you try me today, I will show you. I thought we had an agreement. I thought we had an agreement. Eh? What was all this now? What stupid agreement are you talking about? That I will handle this. Ah. Yes, let me handle it, okay? I got this. <laughs> I see how well you're handling it. So this is how you're handling it, okay? <laughs> okay, what I'm trying to say is... I... I am deeply sorry. I didn't see this coming at all. Just let me handle this, please. Can't you see? Can't you see that this is temptation? She's temptation already. Don't fight her here so we don't fall into trouble. I will handle this, please. I got this. Believe me. If you know who Juan is, mm, you know her too well, right? Go and warn her. Because my own, eh? It's him name Kakaram. Ume Kakaram, Ume Kai. Everywhere will catch fire. I've been keeping quiet because she's my sister and my other sister at that. I've respected her enough. You caused all these things. So if you know where you and her, 
laid your mat. You get up and make it a lab. You go there and sleep there. Uh, my, my wife is okay. <sighs> it's okay, please. Just let me handle this. Alright? Uh, the truth is, I never saw this coming. Never. My dear wife, please forgive me. Yes, I'm the cause. Just forgive me. Find it in your heart to forgive me. But I promise you one thing. I will handle this. Please. I don't want you to put the stress upon yourself, okay? It's okay. Trust me. This will never repeat itself again. Ah! This girl, you are fine. Uh -uh. Joanne, I'm talking to you. What do you want from me? What do you want in my house? <laughs> you know I would never want anything from you. Never. Because I hate you. I hate you with passion because of what you did to me. But you see this baby I am carrying in my womb. You will not escape the responsibility. But I yeah. promised you already. Yes. I promise to take full responsibility. So what's the meaning of this you're doing? Which includes marrying me, right? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Joanna. Of what benefit will it be to you if you succeed in destroying my marriage to your younger sister? Your blood! Why are you being wicked? And why are you shifting the blame to me? Who is wicked here? You are the very wicked one. Very heartless. How about? Listen, you, know, <laughs> you want me to give birth out of wedlock. You want me to give birth to a bastard to please you so that you'll be happy and you have peace, okay? Never. There's no peace for the wicked, so you will never have peace. Read my lips. Mm. I will never marry you. Mm. I'm sorry about the pregnancy, but I will never marry you because I am a married man already. And read my lips. You must marry me, whether you like it or not. Oh. Say cheese, Biko. Oh, really? Really? Ooh. Let me warn you. Oh. Stay away from my wife. Joan, stay away from my wife so my rat will not fall on you. Come and pose well for me, please. The first one was not fine. Ah. I will use this one and pepper. <laughs> I will use this one and pepper her first. Thank you so much for the food. I am so grateful. Oh, come on, don't exaggerate. I was trying to bring you here initially because I didn't know you're going to like it, especially how the food here is. Of course, I like their food. Their food is very delicious. I like it, even though I can cook more than them. <laughs> wow, so you're a good cook? Yes, I am a very good cook. If I cook for you, <laughs> oh my god, you will like it. That settles it then. So why don't you come over to my house this weekend and make something nice and delicious for me to eat? <laughs> huh? I hope I'm not asking for too much. No, no. It's nothing. I can do that for you. Um, Fred, I am so sorry for your past experience with Juan. I promise to be there for you, okay? Thank you so much. I want you to know that I appreciate you so much. As for Joanne, she's in the past and I can't continue living with the past. I'm moving forward with you because I believe that if it will hold something promising for you and I. Okay? Are you serious? Are you sure? I believe and I hope so. Wait, are you serious? You mean she's in your house right now? I'm telling you, bro. She just bashed into my house with her bag in her hands. Ah. And made her way straight to my guest room. <sighs> See, the devil has won in my marriage already. I thought she was joking when she said she wanted to move in with you. But I didn't know she was serious with that madness. I'm totally heartbroken right now. I'm heartbroken. Um, I understand how you feel, my friend. I really do. So tell me, 
How is your wife? How is she taking it? Exactly the point. And I'm so scared for her right now. I'm so scared. I'm so concerned about her safety. Do you know both of them have been at war since the invasion? Eh? No peace in my house. Um, Muna, I've run out of options uh, at this point. I don't even know what to say. Um, I don't think you can handle this. I can't handle this. I can't. You can't handle this one. Uh, this has gone beyond, uh, gone beyond control. Is she mad? What is wrong with Juan? What has gotten into her head? Eh? What, what were you doing in my kitchen? Which your kitchen? My kitchen is the exactly. same thing you went there to do. Ah, yes, so. <laughs> and what right do you have to call it your kitchen? How is it your kitchen, if I may ask? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I am warning you. Next time, before you go into my kitchen, make sure to take permission. Did you hear me? Make sure to take permission because that kitchen belongs to me. Otu Gadiran. My friend, go sit down. Look at who is talking. Otu Gadiran. Kitchen that I started cooking before you. Kitchen that almost all the utensils there, I bought with my money. Hmm. In fact, let me shock you. Do you know how many times I made love to Muna on top of that kitchen? On top of that counter? <laughs> Stay there and be deceiving yourself. You didn't even have the courtesy to change anything. Everything there, I bought with my money. So don't even come here to tell me it is your kitchen. You are crazy. You're lying. Eh? Once again, you're <laughs> a big liar and a joke. <laughs> See, let me tell you. Eh? Hey. To one. Sometimes I wonder if you sit down and look yourself in the mirror. Mm. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Why? Eh? Why? Muna, at 40, mm -hmm. 40 years. So? 40. Yes, so. Ikan Aba. So? Ikan Aba. You left village at the age of 20. You follow man, go city. That is how you left us in the village at the age of 35. After five years, here you are dragging a man with your younger sister. <laughs> if you don't out there, make it all you do is to be for you, one man to the other. Now, we are we jumping from one man to the other. If you don't wake out there, make it you're nothing but a cheap prostitute. Akuna, Akuna, uh, that is who you are. On low show, cobble, cobble. I don't know, Maz. I mean, if I don't follow man, a woman I go follow. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Since you like yakking your mouth, let me give you a bit of history that you don't know. You see that kitchen that you are yakking your mouth now and talking nonsense? You see that gas cooker? I bought it with my first salary. You know to go alone? No. You are just a cheap housewife. That is the only reason you can talk anyhow. You see those utensils, especially that pressure cooker. I hold it dear to my heart. Ask Muna. I bought it with my money. So the next time, you walk up to me and yak your mouth and tell me rubbish about my kitchen, my kitchen, my kitchen. I will lose you a dirty slap. You In fact, I will reset that your crooked and military brain. You I will reset it with a sounding slap. Where you figure, man? You see that in a uh, 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 respect? You will give it to me, mm. whether you like it or not. Yes, so. And then, if I saw me away, eh? I will lock that kitchen. Yes, and I will make sure you take permission from me before you even drink what I Now, let me not give you the last one. Can't I Can't give you the last one? Look at you. If you ever <laughs> enter down my kitchen again, eh? hard, <laughs> one I swear, <laughs> it can be finger make it. I'm oh. only giving you respect. Okay. No problem. I'm only giving you respect. Oh, but that no, respect, no, I will not. If you know that your name is Ijoma, and in that your small, illiterate brain, you think you are the wife of this house, Enter that kitchen now. <laughs> no, no, you enter you. the kitchen. No, 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 I'm asking you. Enter the kitchen. I will enter the kitchen. Come enter now. Come on, get out. Where are you? Are you will not feel. Leave me alone. No, no, you won. You won. You won. You won. Oh, my campai can just walk in. Come on, come on. My campai can just walk in. Get it. You won. My campai can just walk My baby. And what is happening here? Imagine. This little goat went to call police for me. Eh? <laughs> Baby, hmm? is that true? 
Yes. You called the police? Yes, I called the police. Why? Because I, I want you want to leave this house. She's a threat to me. She has done too much. I don't have peace in my own house. No, 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 no. No, baby, that's wrong. At mm. least you should have told me before inviting the police to this house. <laughs> That's wrong. To show you how stupid she is. Hey, shut up. Mm -mm. Don't try it. I said shut up. Don't try it too. Uh, officer, you're welcome. Uh -huh. uh, my name is Tamuna. This is my house. And uh, it's a family matter. If you don't mind, can I have a word with you? Please. No problem. Thank you. No, 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 no. Let them arrest. Relax, relax. Let them 